Hey guys, it's late and I'm so sorry that the lighting's funky and I've had all these terrible like dark videos or like on my kitchen floor videos or in the car videos or now like it is 11, 11 .03 and it is a late video again. But um, I just haven't had like a chance to like sit down, oh I thought there was a smudge on my wall but it's on my phone, um, and do good videos lately. So anyways, this is going to be Drake's 18 month update. He's a little over 18 months old now and I thought it's, I think it's been like six months. I think his one year update was the last time I even really did an update on him. So I figured I'd, I'd run through that really, really quick. Let's see. He's little. He's a little guy. He weighed 21.4 pounds and that put him in the third percentile as in like the third percentile. He is 31 and a half inches tall and that put him in the 22nd percentile. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's all I've got there. Anyways, he's uh He's a little, he's a little dude. He's, he's so cute. Deacon's kind of small too though, so I don't know, I'm not surprised. He's been, he's right on his curve though, which is, which is good. He's, um, a textbook breastfed baby, um, as far as his curve goes. Let's see here. I just kind of have a list of things. He loves the water. He still loves the water. That's why we did like a nautical theme for his first birthday because he's such like a wateraholic and everybody says, well, it's because he was born in the water. And I don't know if that's necessarily true, but he loves water. He's just, he is a full blown water baby. Um, if he sees it, he's in it, period. It doesn't matter if it's like this tiny little puddle or a massive pool. Like he, he can't stay away from water. So he's, He's a water fiend. Um, with that said, he loves taking baths. He's probably the cleanest kid on the planet because he showers with me, showers with my husband, and he takes a bath with Deacon. So he um, he's a very, a very, very, very clean boy. Um, he is an early bird, as in like before 6 a.m. every single morning he's up, no matter what. doesn't matter what time he went to bed. If he had a good night's sleep or a bad night's sleep, he is up before 6, and he's he's ready to go. He wakes up pretty well. Um, lately, it's so cute because we still um, bed share with both the boys. So lately, you know, I'll, I'll lay him down in bed. He'll take his nap, and then I'll just leave the door kind of sort of cracked so he can, like, pry his fingers in it to open it. And then, of course, um, I have the iPod in there for white noise, and you'll hear the white noise getting louder and louder because he opens the door and he comes out of the room all by himself and it's just, it's so cute. So, so cute. Um, Deacon still sometimes just wakes up crabby and won't come out by himself, so it's neat to have Drake doing it. Um, let's see here. He loves to be outside. Loves it. He's, he's an outside boy over inside any day of the week. Um, he is a runner. He is a very, very, very fast kid. In fact, I think he's going to be probably like in track or something because we get a lot, <laughs> we get a lot of comments on how quick he is and how fast he is, and he's just he bolts. Ninety five percent of the pictures I have. In fact, I sent one to my friend Megan today, and I'm like, this is ninety five percent of my pictures because it's just the back of him because he's always running. He runs away, and he's just he's always running. He's a bolter. Um, he's just off. He's quick. Um, he's a daredevil. He has no problem. He'll scale anything he can. Um, Deacon never did that. I think it might just be because he didn't have, you know, an older brother to like show him all these terrible things to do. But he's just, he's got no fear. Like no fear. He's very, with that said, he's like really passive. He's, he's a very chill dude. He just like kind of is, he's very go with the flow. Um, he's very determined. Like when he wants something, he wants it. But it's not... If somebody else wants it, he's like, all right. Like, you know, he's just, he's very chill. Um, unless it comes to his blankie, he loves his blankies. He's got, he just likes a certain kind and he'll take any of them so long as it's like the right kind. Um, and he still like chews on them. It's the weirdest thing ever. But uh, he does that. He's got about 20-ish words. Um, probably maybe a little bit more now. He's not a real big talker. Um, he obviously has mommy, daddy, nana. He calls Deacon like Bubba. Um, he says Gagey. He says Bubble. He says Hot. He says, um, I counted, I counted him out because I'm like, I don't even think he says 10. And then I started counting him and like two days later, I'm like, oh, we're at 20. So what else do you say? Oh, two days ago, yesterday, day before yesterday. I don't remember. It was yesterday. He said, hi, mama or hi, mum, mum. So he um, put that together, which is pretty exciting. Um, let's see here. As far as like things he loves, he loves books. He 
really is a big fan of books. He also enjoys like stacking things, so like stacking things up. Um, what else do we have here? He, okay, things that he doesn't like. He's not a real big fan of like cold liquid. He likes water, but he doesn't like like cow's milk or almond milk, coconut milk, any of that. He doesn't even like chocolate, any of that. He doesn't care for juice unless it's juice that I've juiced and he's like stealing it out of my cup. Um, that's kind of where he is with that. He's very, uh, he likes to nurse and he likes his water and that's it. Oh, with that said, he is still nursing. Um, I hope he goes to two years like Deacon did or about there or, or whatever. As far as I go with that, I'm kind of honestly, like honestly, don't judge me, ready to like just have my body back and just, just be me for a little bit, not have somebody else relying on my body. Um, that might be selfish and you might hate me now because whatever, but, uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of just ready. It's, it's, I have not just had my body to me since the day I got pregnant with Deacon. So it would just kind of be, it'd be nice. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not going to cut him off early. I'm just I'm looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, he's still nursing as far as how often he nurses. He nurses when, when does he nurse? He nurses when he goes to bed at night. We'll start at night. When he goes to bed at night and then, and that's, he goes to bed at about 7.30. And then he wakes up at midnight to nurse and then that's usually when I go to bed. And then he wakes up like anywhere between 2 and 10 more times plus, I don't even know, um, until about like 5.30 and that's when he wakes up. He nurses again before his nap, which he takes one nap a day, and then sometimes he'll nurse in the afternoon. It just kind of depends on his mood. Um, so he takes one nap a day. It's usually in the morning, so he'll wake up, with, like I said, before 6, and by about 10, he's ready for a nap, and he'll sleep from like 10 to noon, and then we'll eat lunch, and he'll be up for the rest of the day. Um, it's the weirdest nap schedule ever, but it works. Um... Well, as far as like food goes, of course he's you know eating all of his solids. There's nothing that we haven't offered him or given him or anything like that. It's since he was like six months old, he's just eaten everything. Um, let's see, he's not not the fruit and veggie fan that Deacon is. Now he eats them, but if there's other things on his plate, he'll put them all like to the side and not eat them. He um. He's, he's a little bit more challenging than Deacon was. And I think it's just, like I said in the past, I think it's because he knows there's just more out there. I don't know. But um, he's found a new love for avocados. Thanks, Gage. He's been eating a ton of avocado lately. He still loves watermelon. Psst, echo. Psst, nope. Really, she's going to do it when I'm sitting right here. Dang cats. It drives me crazy. Um... I don't even know what I was saying now. Oh, yeah. He loves beans. The kid loves beans. He's back onto bananas, which is... We go, like, through phases with the bananas. He loves apples. Oh, he says apple. That's another word. I forgot he said apple. He says apple. He loves them. He loves pears. He, um... He doesn't like... What does he not like? He doesn't really care for, like, salad or lettuce, even though he eats a lot of, like, dirt and leaves and stuff outside. He's a little crazy there. Oh, he loves the little clementines. Um, I don't even know. He's just, he's just kind of pickier than Deacon. Deacon will eat up. Drake just won't. Um, I think that that's honestly pretty much it. Hopefully I covered everything. It's already nine minutes, so I'm going to hush my mouth. My phone was at 6% when I started this, so it's probably like one. It's probably going to die. But, um, yeah, I wanted to do that update before he turns like two and another six months flies by. I'll be doing Deacon's four-year update here in just a couple of weeks. Otherwise, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.